eat them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. Heavenly Father, this, O oh Lord, are the opening verses of this new chapter about the history of the life of David now, as a king. Here is a scenario, O oh Lord, that is different again. And as to why you have chosen this uh, chapter to be written, must have uh, a lot, O oh Lord, of uh, uh, lessons to be learned. That's why we have been, we are praying, O uh, oh Lord, always that uh, you will lead us to every chapter of uh, the book that we are studying so we can be able to uh, space, O oh Lord, uh, uh, whatever uh, lessons the Lord do want to bring uh, to our hearts. And this chapter is one of the most difficult uh, chapter again because uh, finding of the Lord, uh, the very kernel of this chapter, uh, uh, is, is, is hard. Uh, but uh, we will just go to the flow of the story and as we uh, land on every uh, uh, a sequence, uh, we uh, stop to meditate on uh, the lessons. And so may you help us again this morning as we come to this book. We pray also for guests this morning. Thank you for their attendance. I hope that this will be the beginning of their attendance for the first time comers. And for the second, third, fourth time comers, they will just come and come and uh, grow in the knowledge of the Lord. And one day, they will also choose for the Lord to uh, put their faith upon Christ. And they are also one of our prayers uh, every Sunday. May you bless them, Lord, that they will come to the knowledge of your Son. Thank you so much this morning. Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Take your seats, uh, please. Okay, so this uh, morning is a uh, new chapter again. We uh, are going to deal with the... Uh, what is this one? Uh, tenth chapter of the book of Samuel. Uh, I uh, scanned the internet as to uh, what uh, uh, the great preachers could uh, preach on this uh, on this chapter, and they focus their sermons uh, on the battle between the Syrians and uh, the uh, and the Ammonites in Israel. So uh, many of the preachers have chosen uh, to preach on the uh, uh, battles between God's people and the enemy. But since we are studying a chapter uh, by chapter study, then we must look at uh, the burden of our study is always asking the question, what is the overall uh, picture of the whole chapter? Why is it placed there? So those are the questions that we are uh, trying to extract because those questions can get us to the main subject of every chapter. And so when we will use those questions to uh, discover the very heart of a chapter, we will not be able to conclude that the greatest message of this chapter would be on the battles between God's people and the enemy. Uh, and uh, the answer, so I want to explain to the uh, so because we're going to deal with the entire chapter. And so uh, the question that I raised uh, to be able to uh, squeeze the very subject of this chapter will fall down to David himself. So he's the star of this chapter. And uh, there are three, at least three. Uh, you know, I believe that uh, Baptist people are the greatest preachers on earth. Because we know Baptists to be three pointers, but they are not inventing it. Some of those uh, pointers are really gotten to the, uh, in, in their chapter many of them, and I'm not inventing uh, one to three, but iso lang kami ti Karagana, dahito'y chapter nga dahito'y, so it is the content. 
Ah, okay, so I'm going just to... Uh, ay, nalagay mo mo lahat yun. Saka, ano, pagkilag mo. Ayan. Okay. So here are the summary of the message this morning because uh, it is very simple. That's why I did not make an outline. Okay, so here is the story. Though, uh, uh, in chapter number 9, we learned already last Sunday that uh, the kindness of Jonathan was reciprocated by David uh, through what the name of the son of David is Pushet? Huh? Is Pushet? Mephibushet was the king? Was lame. Uh, Alright, so Mephibushet. And that kindness, you know, what, 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 was, what, what was the setting here? The setting here was when David was already resting. There were no wars. Uh, and the beginning of the... Uh, activity of David during the time of peace was the building of the palaces. So that was the first thing that we learned in the past. And after he built the palace, uh, when he sat there in peace with all the world, he remembered a lot of people. You know, he remembered a lot of people and these people are remembered by him because of certain kindness that he had shown him. And the first person that he remembered that was so kind to him, a brother, you know, who loves better than a woman, was Jonathan. And so he showed kindness to Jonathan by taking his only son that is alive during the time and putting him on the, in the palace to eat with him all the rest of his life. So the kindness of Jonathan prevailed, you know, even though he was dead. But... After that, he remembered also a person. He was not a member of the society of God's people, but a pagan king who was so, you know what, uh, gr gracious to him when he was fleeing uh, from Saul. And that, uh, that king uh, died in this chapter. So not the young king. And he remembered him. And to, to bring that... Uh, Gratitude in his heart for the kindness of the man. He wanted to send a, uh, an appreciation to his son. To at least uh, a little bit console him. You know, so, DJ Tinapasamak Titoy. And that is the story that runs throughout this chapter. And I at least um, uh, summarize these three events that happen in this chapter to be our main point. Alright, so... I will read it and you will memorize it uh, before we will go to these three things. Number one, David's, David remembered the kindness of a friend. Sino uh, kaming getting a friend? The king of Ammon? I want to make Nehas Gayam. Nehas. So, anatay ni Nehas. So, he, he wanted to show his appreciation of, for the kindness of this great friend, an unbelieving friend. So, Christians, we are not uh, limited to have friends among the uh, the people of the Lord. We are also encouraged to have friends with the unbelievers, but uh, you know, but with a limit, with, with limitation. Uh, in in the end, we are uh, we, we 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 must win them right. Uh, and I have also a lot of friends uh, outside the faith. Uh, and David also had a lot. Nehas was one of them. And so, uh, the first point is here is, David remembered the kindness of a friend. So, remembering the kindness of a friend is one thing that we need to discuss. Secondly, David sent a token of appreciation for such kindness. So, that is the first, uh, the, the third part of this, the whole chapter. Uh, David showed, uh, uh, had given a token, you know, for such kindness. Uh, because, it is not good just to say thank you. Pasapul mo kada tim arami dan tayo ngayong expression iti panagiaman. Okay, so di tayo tinaramid na. Iti chapter number two marito. So we are going to discuss that further. And then lastly, David was justified of his heart's sincerity. Apa yung ata? Because he was accused of using that act, you know, of consoling him. In pretense of spying 
the nation for an aggression after that. Uh, so there was a case of accused, you know what, that was hurled by this unwise servant. Later on, we're going to look at that. So here are the three, uh, at least the uh, summary of chapter number nine. But at the end, David was justified that he was really sincere to give a token of appreciation rather than uh, making a pretense of uh, sympathizing you know what, in the, in, 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 in the act of spying. Uh, okay, so let's, 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 take, let's, let's get on, let's get it on. First of all, David remembered the kindness of a friend. So let's go, let's go to your Bibles, and we are going to read this one. So it came to pass, after this, that the king of the children of Ammon died, then Hanun his son reigned instead. Then said David, I'll show kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness unto me, he showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came in in the land of the children of Ammon. Okay, so that's the first thing. David remembered the kindness of a friend. You know, amoy pang one of the saddest human experience, you know, itibiyag tayo. I also experienced this one. One of the saddest human experience in this life is when you are forgotten by people whom you showed kindness. You know, they had just put those kindness out of their memory and they will, and they had forgotten you. You know, that's one of the uh, saddest human experience that a human being could experience in this earth. May isang kamamadyan nga rikna, nga mariknan di tao, kung di jay mabawal ni wala, di jay kindness ni ramid, di may isa, you know, iji nang ramida na. At awan ngay, the appreciation, we know, anyaman nga makita mga anyaman na, in return. But nasakit di jay. Alright, nasakit di jay. And uh, I, will, I will show you one verse that will tell the gravity of that case. Ecclesiastes 9.15. Oh, salamat uh, na ang click mo. Lagos, read this one. Anya, tiko na natangay. Now there was found a poor wise man. He was poor. And he, by wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Data iti may isang na isurgy Bible about one of the saddest human experience when a poor man will deliver a city in his own, by his own wisdom. Yet because he was so poor that he was forgotten. No, DJ, iti may isang na, may isang na, and when you see, look at this one, we go to this historical record of David and we understand by premise that everything that is written in the Bible, every verse is very important. And so much so is every chapter. Now we come to the historical book and we ask the question, why is this written? What value could there be in one chapter as this? You see? So we are now getting, ladies and gentlemen, and squeezing the principles out of the Bible. That one of the most important things that human beings to learn is to remember. Remember the kindness of others that they had shown to you. Ijay ka kausat iti minsahi na nga may sarating na chapter. Isang kita tag sa pa may intrigue your memory. May I jar your memory. They say it. Could you remember a person who has done a great deal for you? Adapat palagip you? Nga may isang tao nga, you know, dakal kinarami na tiyak mo. Alright, I hope you have in your memory. Second question is, do you remember that? Malagip tayo ba di Jai? Di Jai, iti minsay na tayo tayo. Because, look at this scenario here. When David was put as a king, it was a troublous time when he was put as a king. Because he was not the son of a king himself. He was chosen by God and he was put there. And all of this 
uh, mixed emotions that he had when he was put in, in the throne is so big and so huge that he must let the dust, you know what, settle down before he can be able to reign. And so those troublous times were so impacted David, you know, but it also uh, gave him a good footing as to how he will lead the nation. And after that, he fought the enemy. You know, and after the fightings, in all of the fightings against the Philistines, there was peace, you know. And when that peace was experienced by the whole nation, a good friend gave him a lot of wood to build his palace. And so he built the palaces. All right? And then after he built the palaces and he was sitting there in the palace, there he remembered the acts and kindness of other men. And Jonathan and this Nahas right here. You see, in God, in his wisdom, had chosen that particular experience to be written here. Why in the world? Because it is the doctrine in the Bible that remembering the kindness of others is a matter of notice for each and every one. Kailangan nga itimay sa nalamati. At atangay na gijay, dadakkel nga banpanag nga mai karga ito pagkatao na. And one of the great character that human beings must learn is the art of remembering. Because one of the sickness of this human being after the fall is the mind is always forgetting. You know, the mind is always forgetting. That's the truth about human nature. But remembering the kindness of others, so I've done great deal for you, is a doctrine in 2 Samuel chapter number 10. All right? Because in history, like this poor boy, by his wisdom, he delivered the city, but he, but he was forgotten. So, anyang ay kakaptat iti kahit nangasawan di jay that it is indeed not a, a good uh, it is indeed not a good uh, community it is indeed not a good family it is indeed not a good nation to forget somebody who had done a great deal ecclesiastes has been drawing that uh, attention you know to all the readers there was a poor boy who delivered city yet no one in the city Remember the, the great deed of the man. You say so, DJ Tinker Gana. And in Genesis 20, Genesis 42 to 3, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to say something that I'm going to say 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 that I'm Okay, so, can you do uh, 22, okay? Uh, but he hung the chief baker, but yet, let me go, yet, did not, did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Amo yung ba itong story? that Joseph was in jail, and this, this butler had a dream. He had a dream. And his dream was so uh, intact in his memory uh, that demoralized everything in his mind. And so, my friend, because Joseph was with, with the butler in jail, I had a dream. But I could not erase it in my mind and it became a problem to me. So what was your dream, Kunana? My dream is, Adati misang ay Kunana niya, Kunana, nagtagtagin up. And then, Kunana ng kasta ni Joseph, Kunana, ay, tikait ng asawang gamit na katsikat ita. But, i-release na ka, DJ Pero. Mapawalang sala ka, iti basol mo dito yung baludan. And so, you will go free, Kunana. Hindi ka, hindi ka tanag pa so, pero called this, this butler and freed him uh, out of jail in, in, in parwar na ijibaludan. Iso na ito yung tisin marunun nga napasamak in verse 23. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph but forgot him. So anyati, kayo tayo ibagat ito yung kakausat. 
If I sang a lesson and to my adult, it's the Bible regarding this one, is this one, and be ready to face this reality. One of the most common human experiences is our friends who will forget you. You need to be ready for that. So, hang nga amin, hang nga amin nga gagayong a real true friend. Like this butler, he was a friend to Joseph for how many years? Those moments when he was put in jail with the butler, they were friends, they were buddies, they rubbed shoulders together. For how many years? Yet, when Joseph had given him a good freedom, the Bible declares, yet, he remembered not Joseph. Apay nga anya tiwod na remember ditang story. He could also tell the goodness of Joseph to, the, to Pharaoh so that Pharaoh could release him. But he didn't. He didn't. Uh, so he for, because he forgot him. Alright, so the nature iti tao kat makalipat iti tao iti mong ko nga panagyaman. Iti jay iti may sanga karga na ti Bible. But iti minsahin na ti chapter 10 iti 2 Samuel is it is teaching us, Christians, this morning, that if some people have done a great deal for you, you need to remember them. Amen? Because that is such a good point in life as to how it is written in a single chapter in the Bible that a lot of deeds of the Lord Jesus Christ was scrapped just to put this in place in the Bible. And to earn its place in its chapter is, is such a magnanimous in magnitude idea. But this remembering the kindness of others is indeed a good doctrine. You know, makita yung mat, DJ City nga DJ, no one remembered it. Anya nga iti atmosphere na DJ nga city. That city is thankless. You know, because they, no one remember the kindness of one single poor man. And to be, to be, uh, to be held a reputation of thanklessness, am I right, is one of a, an experience of human decadence in a society. Ah, madmadi. Ngamno, adati city, kan lugar, familia, o in individual, nga nalaing aglagip iti, uh, kindness to my son. But what kind of society would it be? It is a healthy, am I right, in a happy society, in family. So, DJ Tikargana, so, first of all, in David is setting us an example that here, after his wars, after his palace was built, and he rests in peace, the third thing that came to himself is to remember the kindness of other people whether they are in the household of faith or they are outside the faith, like Nehash. So he remembered. Okay, so secondly, my kaduang kargana at chapter number 10 is this one. David sent a token of appreciation for such kindness. So uh, he organized these wise men, uh, these wise men, who are really wise men. Uh, now, uh, Ado ba kanya yung tinakakita at tihudyo ng tatao? Have you seen a Jew? I have seen a lot of Jews. Where? where? In Makati. Arot ko Jew ijay. Di pangkitaan nyo ti Jew ijay, isumot lang dahil ito eh. Uh, Incent ni, ni David. Nga no wise men kung nanda, nag-aatidog ti barabas na dito eh. Yung Makati lang pangkitaan nyo ito. At nagtatrabaho na kanagay na nakulang ang kampan ng Pilipinas. Then, Nung makita yun di, o, beard na nga, nakas lang nga, pag umuha ti bilit, o, di, 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 di. So, so, inside ni, inside ni David, di, kunanda, you tell to the son that David, the king, is his friend. And your father had done a great deal when he was escaping uh, after Saul. And he was really so thankful that, you know, he sent us. Ngom da gi wise men i jai, kunan da kiti kanya na. Do you think that these people are come to condole you after the death of your father? I throw not. I think these people are spies. 
in pretense of sympathizing with you. So the JT accusation dah. So namulaga po si King because to be being five, baka 25 or 30. Oh, there is no yet wisdom in him. And so kuna na, what are we going to do with that? Oh, we are going to send a message to David. Kanya nga iti naramid dah. Nag-ala dah iti blade. Asyo nga iti yung mga panungot at agam iti ahit din. Nag-ala dah iti blade. Inahita dah di nga center iti kapan. So, nabati lang dito eh. So, di side ko iti ahit. At amuyo ba at kultura ti hudyo? Mas mayat nga patayom di lalaki no ahitang tikas niya eh. Because it will strip him of his manhood. Seems like that. And then, kinartip da di jay ngay bado da from top to hingga na jesaka. You know, to mock the circumcision of the Jews. Kasi no skirt at pinutod hingga na ibaba. Can you imagine that? Just to mock the circumcision of the Jews. To expose the circumcision of the Jews. To mock it nga data kat kakatawo data anda nga mga signal di pa di sanship di circumcision so they really put a you know what a posture a picture of mockery against these men who were sent to kun to to just not in in the name but in the name of the king to give sympathy you know what to the son nga natayan but yet they put them all together in shame in mockery as dito ka stada so anya nga tibinsay na tatangag sa pare to the 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 second message is that a person who remembers the kindness of others must do something to express that gratitude an lang aje thank you kunam lang oh pare gan na kayo ubi nito high school kayo di ba Pag-eskwela kayong ka na college, nag-graduate kayo. Hindi nagtrabaho kayo. Hindi ko nagsweldo ka. Kanya nga iti dapat nga panunutong. Shopee, di ba? Saan mo ta? Ang nga Shopee, winulasada nga nagtagos. Baka sandal nga at itugtita kong nagtagos. Parutong or restaurant nga nagtagos. The first person that you should remember must be your parents. Oh, anda kayo nga nag-graduate ka na katrabaho. Ang nangyari ba kanya yung diay? Di parents mo at di kwan. Of course, ni Apo Diyos. Di ba? Di tight di giving mo. Secondly, di parents mo at panunutom. Eh. Di si Sokas di tikas tayo. Han nga, di kapitasan nga bado. Ang Adidas with no jeans. You know, you need to remember your parents. Because, you will not say, during the graduation, you tell your mom in your in your father. Thank you for giving me such opportunity. In this block, in this niyat na ganito ka, okay lang di jay. Ng beginning ko, hindi pa nang nalagip. Sumarno pa nang nalagip na nagsildo, kamatay na na. But, ni Apo Diyos, di mo na panunod, sabi ko na yung peris mo. Pag biro ka mo, ano niya nga gift ni Kamayatan, itad mo kanya na. You know, amen for that? Are you going to hate me? You're going to learn from this, from this sermon. So, DJ, tinapasamak. So, David had really done a great deal in the name of appreciation and gratitude. He sent a token. And so, nagito yung atataw, but they are not only wise men to to tell Exact words, you know, to console a a mourning heart. They are not just as wise, you know, to tell every fit word to console a mourning heart. But they have, I believe, gold in their hand to give uh, as a gift to the sun. You know, so the JT na pasamak nito eh. At dakuma iti literal expression of gratitude. And also, as long as you live, you need to remember this. You need to remember as long as you live. Because, why in the world that the Lord Jesus Christ acts or is cracked just to put in place the story of David? 
it is indeed a doctrine to be noticed upon. Alright, so di yun tinapasamak at dati sin maruno. Nga nangyari. Let's read Esther chapter 6, 2 and 3 to give force on this character. In Esther chapter 2, 6, the Bible says, And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigtana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on King Ashwaros. Come on. And the king said, Indeed, do these men reveal these killers to kill me? Yes. So the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? And it is said, then said the king's servants in minister, that ministered unto him, there is nothing done for him. Patayin da kuma, da ito king, but in bagan ni Mordecai nga, patati mang patay di king, they will kill him during this time in this place. So nag-alert the security, kinarjadan di king nabiyag. In it that act was written, so the king said, was there a recompense? Was there at least an act of gratitude to, to say thank you for this? And the officer said, no, sir. Oh, let's read again. No, at that point, Ay, So, four hanggang ano? Four hanggang ten na lang. Ayan. Ganyan na lang. All right. Okay. Print. Ayun. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to, to hang Mordecai on the gallows that had been prepared for him. Anya nga, the reward na di ngay. Di jay, Haman nga kahit na nga pang patay kini Mordecai, iso na tinaihang. So the liberty, iso tinaitot kini Mordecai. Okay, so at that reward ni Mordecai, in doing such kindness to the emperor. So that it is the second sign that, it, that David also had given his sympathy to Nehat, to his son, I mean, by giving gift and giving comforters that knows how to speak well. Uh, so at that day, makukunang a recompense. At that day, makukunang ay nga panagyaman in, in, in action. Ang panagyaman by words, ha? Ngunit panagyaman in action. That day ta, iti napasamak iti na ito. Kunan niya king, did really Mordecai save me in one time of my life? Yes, he did. And so these two killers, so anya tawag na kanika yung killers na niya? Assassins are now hanged because of Mordecai. That kunan niya niya king, was there anything made for him? Did there was there honor in his name? Unada, there was none. So a man who is godly like this man and like David knows how to give at least an act of gratitude. At the dapat di jara midem may nga mga ipakita mo at ipanagyaman because dahil tati may isang act iti godliness. So David was such a man, was such a godly man as this. So nagito ito explanation na. Now, Ito lang ito yung story. So what happened? Ito yung pinukisan na yung beard na and then na kinaratib na yung bado na hindi kuna ni David. Siyak man ti mga sabat kanya da ta kababain. So permi piman ti babain da. Anda nga babal nga agawin yung balbalay da. Anda nga babal nga agpakita yung barbaray at balbalay na tanda ko. Anda nga na demolis yung pagkalalaki da. Na nabadokan da. So David the king Ah, uh, iti wisdom na katsakman nga king timang sabat pinyata. E so nga permit at nagragsak na nga di king timang sabat. At punan na, hangkay pa yung apan ni Jai Balayo. Apang kay pa di Jericho. So nga di kamo iti pagpapatakulan na di beard ni Jericho. During that time, we cannot tell. But you go to Jericho, no, din mak in matitugo di barbas yun, you can go now to Jerusalem. Punan na. So, ah, uh, uh, di jay lang ti story. Ayun, iti nalpas di jay yung story. Unan nga kasati subal nung istorya. And when the Ammonites saw that they stank before Israel, kunan na, kas lang na insulto da, that iti pagarugdan, uh, kakapsat ka atakan ni David isuda. 
So what was? So number three, ngayon kita n. What was the number three? Number three is David was justified for his heart's sincerity. So what was the sincerity of David? He really sent these consolers in a sincere heart to sympathize the death of Nehas or Hanun. So that was the sincerity. But they doubted. So kung nanda, despite that ito'y kung nanda. So ang yang iti mangtest iti sincerity ni David. Nag-alada, nag-harda iti tor soldado na kalabano na Israel tati amuda kat gubatan ni David Isuda ang amhanmat. Amat. Because no ginubat ni David Isuda, gusto di yung pag-arup na nga ispay na gijay. Gusto di yung pag-arup na nga ah, amuda yung four corners ni ti wall. Amuda yung thickness ni wall. Amuda yung mga nga soldado ti adat ti unag ti city. That's why nga gubatan na tayo. But David did not do that because he was sincere. He was not spying to conquer these places. So, kapot ka rin siya isong makito ya, a negative action will breed a negative action too. When they doubted David, they gathered the soldiers to prepare for battle. Awan mo siya yung program ni David. Isong sin breed sin. Isong delikado kakapasat itingay at karoon iti mading conclusion ti puso. Tano nagkaroon ka ti mading ang conclusion ti puso, sa bali nga mading manan ang conclusion ti may manan. So nagkuntud na nga ni David kat gubato na isuda. So what did David do? Dinabalitaan na nga nagigay alaban kat nagmarmarchadan towards him and send na ni Joab nga general. Kat itipang kitaan nyo ti sincere ti jay no sino ti mga bak. So nga nagtaralag ni David nga mamatak dito yung orawan ka na ikagat ko ikagat ko na na ako. I was so sincere in giving them sympathy but they gave me a war. Now I want you to justify that by giving us victory. So ang niya tinapasama kayo when the war began, they lose the battle. Hindi naabak na in nala da amin nga Syrians ni Jay sa baling lugar in nipon da amin nag-reposition da ni David mismo ti ng order jay kubat. And as far as the Bible is concerned, ito nito yung chapter, they won the battle. A decisive victory for David. So that victory gave him already a justification that his heart was sincere from the time he planned to give sympathy for Anun. So, dah itu iti karga nang last dah itu ng chapter. So, anjang iti minsay na dah itu. Iti minsay na dah itu kubat. Am amin nga arami din tayo nga magapu iti sincerity, it will always be justified. Or ay wrong ti perception na gijit ng awat, ma-justify tayo ito iti end. Iso nga tayo kung mga madames, madismaya, nung mayat ti arami nung kat maditi subat ti tatao. Tuloy-tuloy lang ta nga mayat na ta. Or ay maditi conclusion da. Tapa nang kita lang ti jay, hanggang mo tagpais mo ti jay. Because umaytal daw, nga ma-justify ka, nga gusto ka kayaan. So, di dyan ito may isang kargana na ito yung Bible, kapatid. Ito yung chapter, chapter nga na ito eh. You know, it is put here that the sincerity of David was justified in the end. You know, his justification in the end. And so, this chapter is telling us a story about our relationship with other people and especially our relationship with God. At amoy yung kakabsat, iti kamayatan nga panunod na tagsapa, itatakot na ito'y. Anya ba iti kamayatan nga naarami ti biyag tayo? Iti first question. At amoy yung iti kamayatan nga naarami ti biyag tayo, na isalakanan tayo. O, di dyan itin mo na, nga mamati ang kamayatan nga napasama kanya tayo. Number two question, sino nga yung persona itin nangarami ti dyan nga panakasalakan? ay katawan sa bali nun ni Apo Diyos. Therefore, at na kuma iti ngay aramidan tayo nga panang panunot iti grace ni Apo kanya tayo. So, iti jay panang aramid, iti thanksgiving, iso di jay jay panagserbi kanya na. Are you going to say amen with that? Because I never heard one amen for that. May at kuman o dat jay makita tayo kat ang amen tayo nagdagos. Jay panagserbi tayo kanya na because Diyan niya na isalakanan tayo. Diyan niya na isalakanan tayo. Diyan niya na isalakanan tayo. Number two, 
At dapat lagi yung karkararag yung hindi, kas lang imposible mangyari ka't nasumbatan ti Diyos. At no nagguan tayo, ay kat ang mutay no sino tinang sumbat. No ni mayor tinang sumbat, api, you go and say thank you to me. <laughs> God did it. Then you must do something to thank the Lord for that. Alright, so the gijay, and then, we have parents, we have brothers, we have friends, to have, na nang tulok niya tayo. And we have a lot, a lot of people na Palagip mo ngayon nga, takal tinarami at gag mo. You know, you need to remember them. And number two, not only remembering, but doing something in return as an act of gratitude. At ako mati doing something in return as to say thank you. And last nga message, ay last nga nga lesson na rito, yan lang nga remembering, doing something in return as an act of gratitude. But number two, the truth of one's sincerity is always justified. Kung ano, dati good things na rabihin tayo, Sabali ito ang interpretasyon ng tao, leave them alone. Just do what you intend to do. Because in the long run, or in the end, you shall be justified. Amen? Amen. So, this is the first time that I preach a short sermon. Okay, so, DJ, tikar ka na, DJ. So, tatangag sa pa, dahil ito time tayo nga, at ano nga time tayo pa, 10 minutes pa, ag kararag tayo. At uh, amok na amo yun. Lahat nga ti pray tayo tatangag sa pa. Isong e, uh, e, datag tayo iti Diyos tayo shall we pray.